right, so now that you've got your trailer, what are you gonna do with it? First step is, I like to call it tear down. Um, you can call it dis, uh, demolition. You could call it stripping. You could call it whatever you wanna call it. I call it tear down. It's basically, we're gonna take all, all of this trim, all of this, like this, this vent here, that's gonna be gone. Uh, those lights, that trim right there, all that stuff is gonna be gone. I'm gonna show you how to take that off, remove it. <laughs> all right, so the first part of teardown is going to be, uh, I'm gonna, this is just where I like to start. Um, you can start wherever you'd like. Uh, I'm gonna be removing this, a lot of this trim, a lot of this trim around here. So to remove that trim, I've got to drill out the rivets, all right? To drill out the rivets, I'm gonna be using um, this DeWalt drill, cordless drill. I've got a bigger eight amp hour battery on it. So it just uh, makes it last longer. It gives it a little bit more power. Um, you can use whatever drill, you can use a corded drill, you can use whatever drill you have to drill out these rivets. Sometimes rivets will be stubborn. Sometimes they'll still have that stem in there and so it's hard to drill. In that case, you may have to take your grinder and just grind down the head of that rivet to where it's, it, the trim will pop off. I'll show you how to do that too if the time comes on this trailer. Um, hopefully I don't run into that. It's kind of a pain. It's not too big of a deal though. So the, what you want is a drill bit that's just a hair bit bigger than the hole that's in those rivets, okay? I've got a 964th drill bit. Let me see if you can see that hole. All right, see that hole in the rivet? You want a drill bit that's gonna be just a little bit bigger than that, and I'll show you why here in just a minute. Also, first things first, you're gonna want gloves, eye protection, I always wear, try to, I don't always wear, I'm gonna, I lie to you if I say I always do all the safety stuff I'm supposed to do. But uh, leather boots with steel toes, uh, preferably for when you drop something on your toes. Did you cop, did you catch that right there? For when, not if you drop something on your toes, for when you drop something on your toes. It's gonna happen, okay guys, it's gonna happen. So, um, wear your gloves and then I also, also, have a pair of earplugs. These are custom, custom formed earplugs that pop right in there. It's from my days in oil refining. Uh, you know, the, the company I worked for uh, got a custom company to, a company to make custom pair of earplugs for me. So that's one of my great beneficial takeaways from the oil business, right? I've got some earplugs I can wear in my new business. So anyway, I'm gonna show you how to drill out these rivets and start taking this, uh, this off. Now this is gonna apply for pretty much all the trim. All the trim you can take off this way, basically. So here we go, let's take off some trim. All right, so we're gonna start removing some of this trim. You really only need your earplugs for grinding and those sorts of things. This really isn't too loud. So I'm gonna set it to number two speed, which is a little bit faster. And you just put it in that hole and kind of waller, kind of waller that drill bit around. And there, that's the head of the rivet popped right on, right there, that's it. So now that is actually loose, okay? Now this is formed to the trailer, but that's actually loose. Now I'm gonna go on to the next one. Now this is, this is all aluminum, so it's relatively soft to drill through, which is very convenient. And go on around here. Also kind of you can hear my drill kind of slowing down and speeding up that's me on this trigger either you squeeze the trigger harder it goes faster you 
let off some, it goes a little bit slower. It's just kind of, you'll get a feel for it as you go along. And then here's gonna be the last rivet for that piece. And as you can see, this whole piece, well that was, what, five rivets? Now this whole piece just came off, all right? I wanna save this, cause I'm gonna clean this up and reinstall it on the finished product. But you can see there's just holes. And you can also, once, like this rivet, some of these are kind of staying. You got two choices on there. You can either drill, go ahead and drill those out. I guess three choices. You could drill them out. You could use your grinder and just kind of grind it off right there. Or you could use a punch and punch through there. I'll show you how to, let me grab the punch right quick and I'll show you how that punch works. But there, that piece is gone. And you can do that, you do that for these pieces, you do that for these window pieces, you do that for any piece that's riveted on. That's how you, that's how you remove those rivets. Pretty simple. And we're gonna be going back with the same size rivet, so we'll be able to use those same holes and the same trim, and it's gonna look awesome when it's done. So it'll be great. All right, so removing, it will, I'll go ahead and show you how to use this punch, this rivet. The head came off, but the rest, the body of the rivet is still in there. Okay, so I've got this punch, right? Not all of them have this little plastic handle on it. It's just most of your tool kits come with that little punch. It's like a, to, it's to reset, recess nails in wood or whatever. And then here's uh, just a standard claw hammer. Uh, you don't even have to use this one. You can use a little trim hammer. And you just... There. It's in there now. So it's gone. It'll be inside there. And that is how you punch through uh, a rivet. The biggest thing, guys, is... Um, I promise you, if you've got the will and you've got any little sh shred of skill or want to learn skills you can take what i'm showing you and you can do it you can transform your own trailer i promise you it's it's not rocket science it is a little bit labor intensive and it does take some creativity in your brain and a thought process but once you do it and get going you'll you'll really see how how simple it is <clears throat> all right so i'm on day two can't tell I've shaved today, so uh, shaved last night. So anyway, I'm gonna continue to pull all this trim off and kind of give you a look at that process, a further look at it. Crowbar, crowbar, pry bar, whatever you want to call it.
see how easy that was? Pretty easy. Uh, just take some time. Once you get the tactic down on how to drill rivets, it comes pretty good. So I'm definitely going to be reusing this, so I mean I know where it goes, but it's a good idea. You never know how much trim you're going to have laying around. Right in here, top, top nose. Right, this is the nose of the trailer, that's the top. That way you're not gonna confuse it with like that trim or one of these trims or who knows what trim. So save that for later. Okay, so there's several of these rivets that have the uh, that have the stem sticking out. This is what I mean when I say the stem sticking out. That's your rivet right here. That's your rivet, and this should be when you pull it through and it pops off. This whole area should be gone. That should be gone. So that's what I'm talking about. You'll see in a second. I'll show you. See, that's gone. That one's got the stem in it. It's hard to drill out when they got that stem sticking in there because your drill bit does not want to center. See, that's got the stem sticking in it. See, it, your drill doesn't want to center in there when that happens. So we'll get our, get your face shield on, put your earplugs in, and we're gonna grind a little bit on there to get those off. All right, now we do want to save this trim. We want to save this trim to go around our plexiglass when we have it in there. So that's something to keep in mind. We do want to salvage this trim if we can. Not the end of the world if you can't, but that's what we want to do. What you got to realize is the guys that put these on they don't they're not thinking about having to do something with that later and replace that window or something along those lines so what you can do you have two options here you can grind you grind them down to that bevel like I said to where you can drill that out that's 
drilled out now. You want to you want to go in the center. So as you can see, so now that will come off. I can straighten that out later and uh, clean it up. You're also going to want to mark those. So you can drill all those out and pop it all off there. Always good to have some good pliers or channel locks, whatever uh, you get. Sometimes those rivets will get bound on there. F wind bot, front window bottom. metal in the middle. So what I'm going to do is I'll show you whenever I do it. I'll put masking tape along here to follow those lines and I'll cut. I'll cut this out and so this will be one big piece of plexiglass. Okay? It's going to look really cool. I'll show you the finished product right now. So now you've seen, you've seen me do that whole side and the whole front. You just continue that same process all the way around. It's as simple as that. That is your tear down of your trim. All right, now get to work and I expect to see some results. <laughs> I